And by the way, the voice behind the legends is here. David Graham is with us. Yeah, right. Good evening, David. Thank you. Welcome to the programme. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Chris. <laughs> it's a real honour to have you here. Tell us about the story of the pub in Slough and Parker. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> when he was planning the series and casting the voice of Parker, he suggested we go to a pub in Cookham where I might discover the voice. And there was a wine waiter there, and he called the wine waiter over. And the wine waiter said, Would you like to see the wide list, sir? And that was the birth of Parker. <laughs> and of course, I tweeted him and dropped the H's and <laughs> widened the accent, but uh, it became Jerry's favourite character. But it wasn't just Parker who you voiced because you did yep. Reigns and Gordon yep. Tracy. How difficult was it for you then when there were multiple characters in the Well, scene? it was a little difficult, but provided the characters were perfectly grounded and you left a pause in between, it was OK. I mean, like, if I was talking, uh, if Parker was talking to Brains, you say, uh, what are you doing, Brains? I, 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 I'm doing a, a, an experiment. We'll get a move on. <laughs> He said, well, it's, it's much harder than driving a car. Watch it, Bush. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, you did, you, that's how you did it? Yeah, that's how, that's how I did it, with slightly more of a pause, if I was in between the two different characters. OK, and here, on the verge of your 10th decade, by the way, congratulations, you're still working. <clears throat> yes, I'm still working, and I'm doing other series as well. But the brand-new Thunderbirds is, is coming back to ITV next year? Next spring. And they've asked me to revoice and reprise Parker. Which Quite right, too. I'm chuffed about. I'm mm. chuffed. OK, now you've already recorded uh, some stuff, but you can't tell us anything about it. <laughs> no, I can't tell no. you anything about it. Can but... you tell us who Lady Penelope is? Yes, Rosamund Pike. Oh, Lady of the and Moment. And she's lovely. She's lovely to work with. She's lovely. And are there strings or...? No, no, it's CGI. CGI. Computer graphics. It's right. modernised. I mean, the basic plot line is the same. You know, rescue, rescue, baddies and goodies. Right. But it's it's much more technically up to date. And when you sat down, David, Jamie said, I'm incredibly starstruck, but it wasn't just because of Thunderbirds. It's because you voice a character that would be well known to lots of parents out there and children, if yeah. they're still awake, um, from Peppa Pig. Yes, Grandpa Pig. Could we have a little bit of that? <laughs> well, I'm going out in my boat and I don't want any in the way <laughs> because I'm, you know, I don't want anybody to bump into me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you properly starstruck, Jamie? I'm starstruck. And he's also, he's also the wise old elf in Ben and Holly as well, which is uh, another great character. Yeah, he's a well. lovely character. But you, I mean, you've got a history with kids shows. Tell us about the other stuff you Well, know. I originated the original voice of uh, the Daleks with a wonderful voice artist, sadly, no longer with us, called Peter Hawkins. And I also appeared in two series with, as an actor in Vision with Bill Hartnell and Tom Baker. And in the Tom Baker one, it was uh, called City of Death, and I played a Russian. Did you? A Russian? <laughs> OK. A Russian. And, and by, by the way, here's the make and do. This is the original make and do of Tracy Allen from Blue Peter, and this is Anthea Turner's actual make and do. Now, you tried to do this, didn't you? I Dave? did definitely try and do this. How far I, did Anthea you get Anthea Turner is a talented lady. Yeah, it's really like detailed, that. isn't this it? This is a museum. We had to borrow this from a museum, but this is the original make and do from Blue Peter. Wow, that should be in Anthea's house, surely. <laughs> Maybe Anthony lives in a museum. I've no idea. I've no idea. <laughs> anyway, round of applause for David, please. Yeah. Thank you, David. <laughs> Real pleasure to talk to you.